Welcome to Digital Forensics Masterclass. Learn advanced knowledge with our mentors. Thank you, Meerat sir. In this lecture, we will download and install and learn about uh, what is that Sane OS. So, Sane OS is, is a professional open source forensics platforms that integrates software tools as modules along with powerful scripts uh, in a graphical in user interface. Uh, so its op operational environment was designed with the intent to provide the forensics professional all uh, the tools required to uh, perform the digital for uh, forensics investigative investigate process of like preservation, collection, examination, and analysis. So Sane is a live uh, Linux distribution, so it can be booted from revo removable uh, media like USB flash drive or SD card, uh, or from an optical disk and run in memory. But it can also be installed onto physical or virtual system. Uh, in a live mode, um, Sane can operate on data storage object without having to boot up a sp uh, supporting uh, operating system. So the latest version, um, Sane knows is 11.0, can boot UEFI or UEFI Plus secure and leg legacy BIOS, uh, BIOS allowing Sane to be used on information system that boot older operating systems, for example, Windows NT and newer platforms like uh, newer Linux, Windows, uh, Linux and uh, Windows 10 here. In order to download Sane OS here, uh, there is actually I know its domain name, saying OS. Just uh, write saying OS on Google and click on the first options here. So uh, saying OS is based Ubuntu 18.04, uh, uh, 64 bit. Uh, so Ubuntu. So saying OS is based on uh, these versions uh, of Ubuntu. So uh, you can install. Uh, saying us in virtual machine as Ubuntu device here, which we will select here. Uh, so this is based 64 bit saying us, of course. So saying system requirements to run as a live seed are similar to uh, Ubuntu 18. Um, uh, yes, 18.04 as well. So if you can run Ubuntu, uh, you can run saying us, your system can run saying us. Uh, as well so it can run on physical system or in virtual uh, environment such as vmware workstation that we will install uh, in this lecture the same linux uh, distribution has numerous software applications uh, like uh, scripts and libraries that can be used in a graphical or command line environment to perform forensic tasks uh, same can perform data analysis of data object um, that created on Microsoft Windows, Linux, or some uh, Unix uh, systems. So, uh, one of the key uh, forensics feature science uh, uh, 9.0 is that uh, it sets all block device by default uh, to read only mode. So, write blocking is a critical methodology to ensure that uh, disks are not subject to writing operations by the operating system. So, this is the best feature that say no uh, operating system has. So it doesn't touch um, uh, any and any bit of your uh, main device, uh, hard SD, in this case, hard disk drive or SSD, until you say that. So it um, block the all, block all device write permission as the read-only mode. So this ensures that attached data objects are not modified, uh, which will negatively impact uh, digital forensics uh, forensic preservation. So it's a good feature. So. Uh, in order to download Sanos here, uh, you just need to uh, come top of the site and click on downloads. So in Sanos, you can download uh, Torrent, uh, or oh, as you can see, there's the MD5 and CHA1 here to check is the, you download in the um, right Sanos. So you can download as Torrent here uh, or as uh, the web downloading here, HTTP download here. Let's click on save file and uh, saying this is 4 or 5 gigabyte, so it may take some time to install because uh, this not you know, this not uh, causes the Linux system, it has a lot of tools inside saying and because of that, uh, it has uh, the large size. So now uh, we will uh, install the saying OS. Oops, so we will install the saying uh, OS. Uh, as a 
uh, virtual device here uh, let me change the screen here and okay uh, so here <clears throat> let's change to display and here uh, just uh, open the open your VMware workstation if you have a uh, virtual box it's almost the same but if you have any problems uh, in virtual box or VMware, uh, VMware player you can uh, write me you click on file click on new virtual machine and here I click on uh, installer disk ISO file and select your same ISO that you downloaded and click on next and in here uh, you select the Linux and Ubuntu 64 bit system uh, can you see it actually I think you can uh, Ubuntu 64 and same OS 64 bit name it and the maximum disk size is okay 20 gigabyte is okay because we will not install on uh, the hard disk uh, we will uh, launch it as live and just click on virtual play virtual machine let's let me show you settings here as you can see here memory for this virtual machine is 4 gigabyte processors 2 hard disk drive 20 gigabyte uh, network adapter NAT USB controller present uh, USB 2.0 uh, sound card is connected at power on use default host sound card a printer we don't have printer and the display we have here and options as you can see here in change uh, keyboard is off uh, here power uh, we have not enabled them unity and as you can see here if you have any problems you just copy this uh, here and let's uh, play our uh, Sinus here. Actually, we have uh, another problem here because uh, my Sinus is not completely installed. Uh, let me change the direction of it. Uh, actually, I have two Sinus copies. Uh, the first uh, copy was not completely installed. Uh, it was 500 megabyte, but the real Sinus size is um, bigger. Uh, the real Sinus size is, let me show you here. Okay, so as you can see, real Sinus size is uh, four uh, point um, almost uh, three hundred megabytes. So let's run it again. It uh, wasn't a big deal uh, here. Workstation, open workstation again, and click on Sinus. So as you can see here, uh, let me change. Oops, don't do anything. Okay, so. Uh, let me change the scene OS to okay so as you can see here uh, we can start uh, saying OS as boot live in RAM this is very good uh, options uh, to run digital forensics investigation if you don't want to touch any of it you can uh, start start uh, saying alive we can uh, do the memory test uh, we can put live in debug mode we can uh, ram, ram. Uh, we can uh, if you have another um, graphic card uh, or you have very old graphic card or you have a very uh, new uh, newest graphic card and um, the linux operating system doesn't support that you can uh, just start uh, with this option uh, boot live in uh, safe graphic mode uh, and we can start in compatibility mode as well but uh, in this case we have um, uh, we are in the VMware player so we don't need uh, to do the much job here we will just start uh, live our system here Our is, is starting here as you can see uh, this uh, has to be feel one two three yes uh, our microphone is recording as well
as you can see here our scene was is started actually it's not good resolution here let me fix that change this good background create folder or we can system tools graphics actually of this other References, hardware displays, and the display size to oops. Okay, apply. Fix this configuration. Let me fix this. Here. So as you can see here, uh, we installed Sanos, uh, we downloaded and we installed Sanos uh, very easily. As you can see, as I said earlier, uh, Sanos default blocks all the right permissions for uh, main storage devices. Uh, as you can see here, as we created our uh, virtual machine, we have 20 gigabytes of uh, disk size. So uh, in order to use this disk size or write something on it, uh, so we can uh, actually read uh, uh, read this we can read these uh, storage devices here but but we cannot uh, write any bit on it so in order to write we just uh, here make the selection select the, your uh, device as you can see let's uh, read this this program says block there in rw uh, this means our uh, read write or read output mode for mounting block devices using the console with the mount option rw uh, this means read write or nothing so uh, because uh, since sets blocked there in our own mode mode by default and it's main mode you cannot mount in rw mode anything using the console it's impossible to use programs uh, for example like test disk uh, mode directly to so detected block device in their current so let's click on ok as you can see it's writable now so we can write um, and also read of course um, our this 20 gigabyte disk now so if you want to block here as you can see this is the read only now so let's make it uh, writable so as you can see here we have auto spy we have disk image monitor we have guy major and just in um, uh, main screen here desktop screen here as you can see we have uh, we can install Sanos as well in our storage device as storage device and as you can see we have database for browser for sqlite genie ghex icon browser uh, here gx sqlite man uh, we have the um, sound and video programs here uh, this is for burning something on cds as you can see we have disk image monitor disk image writer uh, ubiquity we have here uh, we have very mi here um, and internet we have thunderbird uh, bird mail we have putty ssh shell uh, we have here uh, we have ghex icon browser we have ghex here as you can see we started ghex as super user as root this means we have forensic tools as you can see we have wide range of forensic tools here we can scroll this down and we have for example studio suite here we have task disk here as you can see here we have here for example fred we will use these programs as well all of these programs we have database for browser for sqlite here we have recall here we have auto spy 2.24 uh, 2 here auto spy uh, we will use this auto spy very frequently in our practical examples here we have disk image monitor quite major we have actually we have uh, open source inter intelligence uh, programs as well uh, like the harvester infroga osint spy 
we have timeline we have mobile forensics as well for example blackberry scripts let's open this program as you can this is the terminal of Senos. and we have uh malware analysis tools for example yara tf pdf scanner yol div we have hash we have quick quick hash program so we can uh set the hash uh, of all and read the hash calculate actually hash not setting it's calculating uh, the hash of our files and programs so in next lecture we will uh, use and we will do the examples uh, in saying os here so let me show you actually the last things don't record anything as you can see we can so return disk selection i want quit here so we have disk image monitor here we can mount our disk image uh, this is the root in the file explorer here file system here we can do the network transitions here uh, this selected device will be mounted read only so as you can see this is the status read only this is just an our iso file as you can see this is my megabyte 2138 uh, megabytes of this iso so we have network options here as you can see we can vpn connection we have connect information here as well this is my local ip address of a vmware machine uh, as you can see this is the one gigabyte mega one, one gigabyte connection we can disable networking as well here we can disconnect and we can edit our wired connection here 